Hello, I'm Stephen Cook with Cook Saw Manufacturing. Uh, we want to make a video, a series of videos really. Uh, we started one a few weeks ago and we want to continue on that concerning set and how set affects the blades. We want to do some experimenting, so I hope we'll, we'll tune in. We're probably going to separate these out into short videos. I know I like short videos and not long videos, but we're going to do that. We're going to show you how set affects blades. I'm going to show you some, some measurements today uh, to help you understand what all is going on. But uh, also we want to set wide, we want to set narrow, we want to kind of mix it up. We want to set some a little narrow and some a little wide on one side so that we can see and help you understand how set affects the cutting. What you may be surprised to find out, and number one is set's very critical, that won't surprise you. But what might surprise you is it may not be quite as critical as you think. I want to start uh, by showing you what a thousandths is or what a few thousandths are. And so we'll need to get my dial calipers out here. And many of you, I'm sure, will know what these are. Some might not. We have a couple of gauges here, actually. This is my setter set checking gauge that I'll show you in a minute. And then this also is, is what we use in the machine shop a lot. Uh, we have a machine shop make piles of the parts that go on our mills and, and build machinery of all types, even, even some of these machines we build. And so if you can see that, this is a dial indicator and it has thousands on here. So th this thing measures by the thousands. And I want you to grasp what a thousandths is. Uh, there's a thousand thousandths in an inch but to help you understand that, I've got a piece of paper here. It's just, I went and got this off of a printer. So this is a piece of paper that you'll you know, get down at the store anywhere to put on your printer. And I'm measuring that, and it is actually right at 4,000, maybe three and a half, three and three quarter thousandths. And so if I pull that out and leave that there, you almost cannot see the gap right here in this thing. I mean, that's what we're talking about at four thousandths. So if I'm setting my saw blade, uh, sometimes we use a short piece right here. I can show you maybe a little easier before we get on the setter. So if I'm measuring the set on my saw blade, it is very important. But you just saw what a piece of paper was. So if I when, I, when I start measuring this or when I start setting my blade, if you're setting your blade, if you have one of our setters, you can see we have gauges on our setter and we're looking at the thousands. Sometimes a burr is five thousandths. Uh, a piece of sawdust, I hadn't really, I don't know how you would exactly measure that, but a piece of sawdust that comes off of this blade is probably 10 thousandths. Matter of fact, we do calculations and eight, nine thousandths is how far a tooth digs into the wood as it passes by. We figure out how many teeth are in the whole blade, the, the speed that we're rolling, turning the blade, and, and we're getting about eight or nine, eight to ten thousandths. Probably if you slow down and, and are a little slower in the cuz, you're getting five or six thousandths. So that tells you how much a piece of sawdust is. So it's, it's just almost nothing. And so when, when I come in here and this is kind of hard to do holding it this way. I like to have it in, in a, a, some other kind of holder. But when I come in here and I tighten up my setter, and I've already zeroed this out, we're, we're at 22 thousandths on this blade, and, and the other side is going to, going to be close. Perfect world, you would want it exactly the same on both sides. That, that's what we always shoot for. But when you're resharpening a blade, uh, you'll find we find that often a resharpened blade has a little bit of advantage even over a new blade sometime. Uh, our sweep grinder, that's the advantage of a sweep grinder. It gives you a perfect height on, on that tilt and it, it, it refines a few things that sometime you can have a million dollar machine making saw blades and, and you'll get a little variation. But when you make that 13 to 14 foot, 16, 10, whatever the length of your blade, and, and put it on a sharpener, you'll find the sweep grinder is one of the most accurate, is the most accurate type of sharpener because it comes up and it makes all the tilts 
a perfect height. We'll show that at another time, but that, that's why we love our sweep grinder. Plunge grinders have some, some benefits, I, I guess, as well, but nothing like the sweep grinder for accuracy. So we find that if you run our sweep grinder, uh, you actually improve and perfect some of the angles you get on the teeth are a little better. And so you may see a little improvement after you sharpen a blade if you get it right. But set is important. But I just want you to realize very clearly, one or two thousandths, don't let that keep you awake at night. We want to be as close as we can, but a fuzz is a thousandths, really. A fuzz that you see floating in the sunlight sometime will be a thousandths. So we don't want to, to get overly consumed with that. At the same time, we want to keep it accurate. That's why we want to show the blade and, and show them cutting. And I'm going to set this blade up and put my gloves back on and set this blade up on our setter and show you a little bit about our setter and how it works. We'll, we will get a blade that's set properly and sharp. We'll go out and run it on the sawmill and we'll try to do a little timing on that so that you can see how fast we're cutting in the cut. Sometimes, believe it or not, you can actually go too slow and, and kind of choke your blade up or heat your blade up. You want to move on through the cut and not just sit in one spot. Uh, the other side of it is if you go too fast, you're obviously going to force that blade to go up and down, and so that can be a problem. So we'll talk about, when we go cut with it, we'll talk about the speed of a good cutting blade. We'll talk about roller guides and how all that gets into play quite possibly more important <laughs> than the set.